Use these idioms to achieve English fluency. At the end of this video, you'll learn 15 idioms that you can use when traveling. If you are interested, hit the subscribe button and show support for this channel. Are you ready? Here are 15 idioms perfect for various travel scenarios. Number one, hit the road, meaning to begin a journey. When to use, when you're starting a trip or leaving a place. Example, it was great visiting you all, but it's time for us to hit the road. We have a long drive ahead. Number two, off the beaten track, meaning to visit an uncommon or lesser known place that is not frequented by tourists. When to use, when talking about unique travel experiences away from popular areas. Example, we found this amazing little village off the beaten track that hasn't been spoiled by tourism. Number three, itchy feet, meaning a strong desire to travel or move on. When to use, when expressing a feeling of restlessness or a desire for change or adventure. Example, I've been in the city too long. I'm getting itchy feet again. Are you sure you got them all? Let's see if you can guess this idiom. Don't be shy and comment your answer below. How about this one? Fill in the correct idiom. Let's continue. Number four, travel on a shoestring, meaning traveling with very little money on a tight budget. When to use, when discussing travel that requires spending as little as possible. Example, I spent a year traveling around South America on a shoestring and had the time of my life. Number five, catch the travel bug, meaning to develop a strong desire to travel frequently. When to use, when someone starts to show a newfound passion for traveling. Example, ever since my trip to Italy, I've caught the travel bug. I'm already planning my next destination. Number six, all roads lead to Rome, meaning different paths can take one to the same goal. There's more than one way to achieve an objective. When to use, when you want to convey that there are many different methods to achieve the same end. Example, whether you go to college or start working right away, all roads lead to Rome. You'll be successful either way. Do you want to check your understanding? Guess this idiom. Let's have another set of idioms. Number seven, up in the air, meaning uncertain or undecided, plans that are not settled or confirmed, when to use, when referring to plans that have not been finalized or when the outcome is still unknown. Example, our trip to Japan is still up in the air because of the changing travel restrictions. Number eight, a stone's throw away, meaning a very short distance from something or somewhere, when to use, when something is very close in proximity. Example, our hotel was just a stone's throw away from the beach, so we went swimming every day. Number nine, pack light, meaning to take very few items when going on a trip. When to use, when advising someone to bring only the essentials to avoid heavy luggage. Example, we're only going for a weekend, so pack light. We won't need much. Number 10, hit the hay, meaning to go to bed, to go to sleep. When to use, when someone is going to bed, often after a long day. 
Example. We have an early flight tomorrow, so we should hit the hay soon. We're almost done, but I want you to have some takeaways after this video. So let's try to remember the meaning of one of the idioms. What do you mean by a stone's throw away? A. Undecided plan. B. To go to sleep. C. To bring only a few things to a trip. D. A short distance from somewhere. Don't feel shy and comment down your answer. You are here to learn. And now, let's proceed to the last set of idioms for today. Number 11. See the world. Meaning, to travel to various places around the globe and experience different cultures. When to use, when talking about global travel and international experiences. Example. After I graduate, I want to see the world before settling down in a career. Number 12. The world is your oyster. Meaning, you have the ability and the freedom to do anything or go anywhere. When to use, to express that there are many opportunities available. Example. Now that you've retired, the world is your oyster. You can finally write that book you've been talking about. Number 13. At a crossroads. Meaning, at a point in life where a crucial decision needs to be made. A turning point. When to use, when facing an important life decision that will have significant consequences. Example. I'm at a crossroads right now, trying to decide between taking the job offer or starting my own business. Number 14. Sail through something. Meaning, to do something very easily, without problems or difficulties. When to use, when someone accomplishes something with minimal effort or trouble. Example. She sailed through the language test with the highest score in the class. Number 15. Take a rain check. Meaning, to politely refuse an offer or invitation, but suggest that you might accept it at a later time. When to use. When you're unable to accept an invitation at the moment, but you want to convey that you're still interested in the offer for the future. Example. I'd love to join you for dinner, but I have to work late tonight. Can I take a rain check and maybe we can reschedule for next week? Now, check your understanding. Can you guess this idiom? We're not done yet. Here's a tip for you to achieve English fluency using idioms. Listen to native speakers using idioms and try to imitate the pronunciation and intonation. You can find videos on YouTube, listen to podcasts, or watch TV shows. Pause and repeat the sentences you hear out loud to practice fluency and gain confidence in your pronunciation. Also, you can grab the five-day guide to English fluency in the description below. That's all for today. Subscribe and see you tomorrow.